Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we got an epic one. We got our buddies over at P-Tech. We got one of their wicked skid plates for our new beta. As you guys know, we picked up one of the new 2023 cross trainers and we got this absolutely insane aluminum skid plate. So let's go ahead and just show you what we got. So here we got our brand new P-Tech skid plate. Let's just go ahead, let's unwrap it like this. Boom, all right, just like that, we got our skid plate, we're unwrapped, and oh man, is this thing ever beautiful. And as you guys know, these stock skid plates are practically useless, it's just a piece of plastic, and what good is a piece of plastic gonna do when you're smashing up on the rocks against the frame? So that is junk. No good. So here we got an, a sick aluminum P-Tech skid plate. This thing is an absolute monster. It's got an exhaust guard built right into it as well as a linkage guard. So this is an all-in-one skid plate protecting the entire bike. Now this is specific to the cross trainer exhaust pipe that's on it. So if you're running an aftermarket exhaust, it won't work and you're gonna need to use one of the RR skid plates uh, to work on your cross trainer. But this is uh, the one designed for the stock pipe. Wow, I can't say enough about how cool and awesome this thing is. So let's go ahead and uh, let's smock it up on the bike and see what it looks like. So before we get to the installation, I just wanted to note that I really like the design that first, you've got these extra ribbings here that brace the front of the exhaust guard. Now some of the cheaper, uh, I don't want to name any names, but some of the other ones just have really thin pieces of metal here and this is end up where they ended up actually like breaking or bending or twisting. And another thing I really like about this skid plate design is that the bolts are like recessed, hidden down in behind. So when you're hitting stuff, your, your bolts don't just get smushed and then end up having no, uh, they don't have any uh, like socket, you know, left to go on it. They just get totally rounded off and you can't get a wrench or you can't get anything on it to actually remove the skid plates. So I really like the design that that's countersunk as well as it's gonna be countersunk here in the back. So that's big thumbs up for me. And uh, let's go ahead and slide this bad boy on and see what she looks like. So it looks like this guy just slides. So the first thing I notice is that it looks like it's not gonna use the factory front mounting bolt. So it looks like we can get rid of that. So we're gonna take our old existing mounting bolt. We're just gonna stick that in the front. Then we can't lose that. And if we ever do decide to put a stock skid plate on, we'll know exactly where the bolt is. So we'll go ahead, we're just gonna stick that guy back in and we're gonna tighten him up so we can't lose him. Yes, yeah, so they give us a longer rear bolt to go through in the backside here. Just like this, sit something up like so. Oh man, that's a monster skid plate. This thing's a monster, boys. So the only thing I'm seeing that's of concern that you just wanna make sure you're doing correctly is down here, this hose that runs on the inside of the frame here is that it's not getting pinched down in the bottom there where you can see the bracket comes in down here. You wanna make sure that the hose isn't getting pinched underneath that clamp because that'll be bad days. So just making sure that's clear, you should be all right. Yeah, that skid plate looks absolutely monstrous and that should definitely protect our pipe, our bottom skid plate and the rear linkage there. So that, big thumbs up. Let's go ahead and let's finish installing it. And now we've got a couple examples exhaust clamps here which are going to go wrap around the skid plate to hold the exhaust in place so that it doesn't rattle is what I'm assuming for but let's throw these guys on. All right we got our metal cable ties on here and here wrapping around so that's to help prevent the exhaust from rattling against it. Keeps it nice and tight and they're made out of metal so they don't melt like a plastic zip tie. Now that thing looks absolutely insane with that uh, skid plate on. That looks absolutely crazy man I'm, I'm loving it can't wait to go test this out on the trails so so there's our installation process done now all that's left to do is let's go out and hit it on the trail so we got a 10 day insane trip coming up so if you guys are watching this right now that means that trips is already over and let's go ahead and let's jump into the review of what i thought when we took this on its crazy trail ride and let's see how well it held up to everything that we threw at it, all the abuse all the rocks all the slamming on it so let's go ahead let's jump to the future and let's see what i have to think about it all right, and just like that, we are back from our trip and holy crap, what an amazing journey that was out into there. Couldn't recommend you guys doing something like that yourselves. But more about this skid plate, it held up phenomenal. Let's go ahead and let's just take a little recap of the trip and show you guys what we got up to. <laughs> Now luckily for me on the trip, we didn't have too many crashes when we were out there, so that is all good. But the skid plate did take a couple hits. We did have a couple spills, and uh, I can't remember if they're on camera or not, but we definitely did hit the skid plate once right here, and we crashed down onto it here. Now these two hits definitely would have been right onto the pipe and would have definitely uh, banged up the pipe. And so far it's still absolutely in perfect condition. So the skid plate I'd say is held up really great to uh, to the abuse. Now another thing I really did like about it is that if you look on the bottom of the skid plate here, it's, uh, it's actually got a piece of like nylon along the bottom, which uh, most of skid plates that are aluminum, like the one on the KLX back there, 
they're just straight aluminum on the bottom, whereas this one's got the nylon, which helps uh, when you're actually going over stuff and the bike wants to just slide over the rock instead of getting stuck and it kind of sticking to the aluminum, it just wants to keep sliding. So there was one thing that did break or let let go, if you will, on the skid plate when we're out riding it, as in if you do remember, I had a metal zip tie just like I have over on this side. I had one of these wrapped around up here on the top of the skid plate to the exhaust, and uh, I did when I crashed and hit it here, it pinched right on the zip tie and it snapped it right in half. I thought something was rattling and falling apart on the bike, so like here's metal, clang, 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 but it was, uh, the zip tie ended up breaking off here. But other than that, the skid plate has held up phenomenally. Highly, highly recommend it, highly recommend it. So I'd definitely go down below, check the links in the description if you guys are interested in picking up one of these skid plates because they are absolutely freaking sweet so overall i'd highly recommend any one of you guys picking up one of these skid plates it's absolutely wicked 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 stuff it's uh really really durable from what it's been through so far and we're going to put it through the absolute ringer and the video is still coming up if you guys didn't check out that first video of our trip on the bike make sure you go down below it'll be linked in the description other than that i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you guys down below click like click subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one peace out